Hello everyone, I'm Nick and now I'll show you how to create an admin panel for your PostgreSQL databases deployed to the Railway Cloud using UI Bakery. So what we will build? We will create an application that loads the data from your database. Then you will be able to filter this data to perform editing of records also to add new records and remove existing records. Let's start building. First of all, we have to connect your database to the UI Bakery. So let's go to the data sources. Here, press connect, choose PostgreSQL and enter all the required credentials here. Credentials for your database can be found here. So I am in my railway dashboard, clicking on my database. Here I can go to the variables and copy everything from here. So we will need database, host, password, port and user. Once your credentials are filled in the form, just press the connect data source button and your data source is connected. We can see a table structure here. So let's get back to the workspace and create a new application. So it will be clients admin in my use case. Okay, here we have to create the first action that will utilize our client's database and we load data from table. Let's execute this action. So it succeeds and data preview is loaded here. Okay, now let's display this data inside the table on the screen. Just can I'll make it bigger. Also, let's remove not important columns here. This one, this one. Also, I want to see my role as a select tag. Probably configure user user status display and let's say active will be green inactive will be warning okay okay so we remove title from the table and call it clients table also make its height dynamic and make it a bit more dense also, I want to see 20 items per page. Okay, now we have a table on the screen that loads data from your Postgre database and displays it. Now let's add all the required actions. We have enabled all these actions on the UI. Now we have to configure behavior for them. Let's start with an edit action. So I'll scroll to triggers in table configuration panel, find on edit trigger and create a new action. So I'll call it at client. It will operate on top of our client database and will perform update row operation. So here we have to configure which rows should be updated. So we'll update row by ID, which is equal to the client's table edited row dot data dot ID. And here we have to configure what we'll send to the database. I'll turn it into the JS mode and just send the whole new data from the updated row. After that, I just want to execute load action again to reload the data from the database. Let's take a look at how does it work. Let's say I have this user, I want to edit row and mark it as inactive. Okay, so everything is working now, new data is loaded, the user is inactive here. Okay, excellent. Now let's implement 
add neural capabilities here. So again, we have a neural button here. Let's add on create trigger, on create action. That will also operate on top of our client's database and we'll create a neural. What we'll send here, we'll just send all the neural data from our client's table. And finally, let's again execute one more action and reload data from the database. Let's try and take a look on how does it work. Okay, I can add new row. Let's say we have here 14 records. So I need a 15, it will be Nick. Register date will be today. Of course, I'm active and I'm an admin. Let's try to create a new row. Okay, so new row is added here. Excellent. Finally, let's add remove capability. So let's create under the trigger, create a new action. Again, client's table, delete row operation. And here we have to configure which records will be removed from the database. So we'll remove records with ID equal to the client's table deleted row data dot ID. And again, execute another action that will reload data from the database. Let's try to remove newly created user delete row. Okay, it works. Cool. Now let's implement the header of our admin panel. So it will be clients. And we also need to add an input here that will allow to add a filtering capability like find by name. Okay, so then with this input component, we have to add on change trigger, but we will not create a new action here. We'll reload the clients like call load clients action again. And we have to change it a bit, like add filters here. So what we will do here, we will retrieve records where name is uh, like our UI input value. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look how does it work. So I have to find Lee. Okay. And all the records are back. Okay. As you can see now, we've implemented a full admin panel for your Postgres database deployed to the railway cloud that allows you to view data from the database, perform editing, remove rows, add new records, do searches, and so forth. Thank you for watching. Join UI Bakery to speed up your application development.